Hey everybody, it is time for another episode of Throwback Thursday, and today we are opening up a box of 1992 Bowman authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange. Now, this release is one of the most in-demand releases from the 90s. It has Mariano Rivera rookie card in there, which, by the way, if you find one, a PSA 10, it goes for $400 to $500. Also, Mike Piazza rookie card is the other good rookie from this release. We're gonna break this open and see what we find. There's some other good rookies sprinkled throughout, such as Manny Ramirez and Carlos Delgado, um, Trevor Hoffman, so we will see what we find. And you can see right here, this is from a sealed case. So we know that this box has not been tampered with and it has been certified and authenticated by Steve Hart, the owner, and he only authenticates from sealed cases like this, this denotation here, if he actually sees the case, uh, a sealed case being cracked in his presence. So this is fresh from a case, um, never before opened. We're gonna open it up and see if we can find that Mariano Rivera rookie card. But before we do that, let's check out what the prices used to be like back in the early 90s. I've got a Beckett over here off screen. It is a 1993 Beckett. You can see there's a lot of action going on back then in terms of uh, prices rising and falling. Now, the top card that I could find was a Frank Thomas foil card, which was going for $40 and going up uh, way back in 1993, which is when this Beckett is from. Also, Mike Piazza rookie card uh, was worth $33 and going up. You can see that right there. A couple other hot cards. Um, some of you might not recognize this name. But Cliff Floyd had a pretty decent career, $20 and going up. He is now an analyst, a baseball analyst on um, several networks. I sometimes hear him on MLB Network. Also, Jeffrey Hammonds, $15 and going up. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's kind of at the top of your screen. Lots of um, up and down arrows. Tim Salmon, $15 and going up right there. Other top cards in there in double digits back in 93. Aaron Seeley was worth $10 and going up. Carlos Delgado rookie card was worth 12 Frank Thomas, just regular issue, was $15 and going up. You might be wondering, what about the other Hall of Famers? Uh, Trevor Hoffman rookie card was only worth $0.60 cents, as he had not yet established himself. And Mariana R Rivera rookie card, the card we're looking for. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it is only worth... 30 cents right there number 302 rivera rookie card 30 cents basically barely even making it into the listing here slightly above a common which was only worth a quarter back then um pretty crazy that mariana rivera would go on to be literally the best relief pitcher of all time and only player in baseball history ever make the hall of fame with 100 percent of the final vote um, to get into Cooperstown. This is today's Beckett. You can see the prices have stabilized um, somewhat. There's no up or down arrows anymore. The Mariano Rivera rookie card books for $50 in ungraded condition here. Um, but, of course, this was released a few months ago, actually June of 2018. So now an ungraded Rivera probably goes for around $100. Piazza rookie card, $25 ungraded. And Trevor Hoffman rookie card, also $25. So let's go. Um, Let's get this box in the screen and let's get this bad boy opened up. This box of cards was about $450 to buy brand new and authenticated. In fact, it was the only one on eBay. Uh, there's another listing on there. You can get two authenticated boxes for $825, something like that. So they're pretty pricey. Um, I have some sponsors here. John A. is going to be taking the first four packs and then we have sponsors. We'll just um, go through them as we go. So John A. is on the clock first. He's getting four packs, and uh, hopefully we find multiple Mariano Rivera rookie cards. That's what I would definitely like. You never know. We might pull zero. We might pull two or three, but at least one is what I'm hoping for. I've got my one touches ready to go for the Riveras. I've got three of them there. Um, we'll toss those in there right away, and then uh, hopefully we can send those on and get those graded. So... It is now open. Here we go. Your look at the inside of the box. Take it nice and easy here. There's the packs. You can see it says 1992 series, Bowman Baseball, 15 cards. Um, and then the back of it, pretty plain and simple. 
no odds or anything like that. Uh, I don't think there's any inserts in here. The only insert would be that one foil card per pack on average, which of course is part of the base set. So here we go. I'm gonna take out four packs. Just kind of peel this back like an onion. First four off the top, going to John A. Let's see who we get. I'm hoping for the Rivera. Some of you have probably seen these before. If you've bought like the Dollar Tree packs or the Fairfield boxes, you might've got some commons in there. All right, here's our foil card. It's a Phil Nevin. And you can check out the design. Nice white border the whole way around. Nice glossy finish to the cards. Mark Langston, Ron Darling. Dale Murphy, Roger Clemens, there's a Bobby Witt, um, they're moving around a little bit, and then we have Randy Myers, one of the nasty boys, Brian Taylor, who was a draft pick bust, never even made it to the major leagues, Joe Orsalak, Mike Williams, Matt Noakes, Julian Vasquez, Jack Clark, and Tim Belcher for our first pack, going to John A. So nothing crazy valuable in that one. Pack number two. I guess I should show you the back of these. You might recall Bowman always broke it down and um, showed you their stats by team or by opponent, I should say. I always found that to be a little interesting. All right. Let's cut right to the middle here. We have a Barry Bonds foil card. That's pretty nice. Barry Bonds. Um, Charlie Hayes, whose son is one of the top prospects in the Pirates minor league system. Key Brian Hayes. Doug Linton. Looks like his senior picture there from high school or something like that. There's Jesse Barfield, Mark Wollers. Closer for the Braves in the mid-90s. Then John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. Wes Chamberlain. Um, I've never seen this car before. That's kind of cool. Joe Sandrini. Hitchhiking to Pittsburgh. I wonder where that picture was taken at. It's a pretty cool picture. I've never seen that car before. When I was a kid, I wasn't buying too much uh, of 92 Bowman. Back in 92, I was mostly buying, I guess, probably the cheaper stuff like 92 Score, 92 Fleer, 92 Tops. Maybe a little bit of Upper Deck here and there, but I didn't really ever buy Bowman, unfortunately. I wish I would have. But I did buy the Mariano Rivera rookie card. Um, before it was really of any value. Um, it was one of the first, um, I don't know, first rookie cards that I ever bought. I, I really liked Rivera ever since like uh, he broke into the league in 95, and I think I got it in 95, um, just for maybe like a buck or something like that at Rock Sports Cards. Shane Mack, um, Jay Howell, want to make sure these cards aren't going to stick together. It's sticking just a tad, but not anything crazy at all. It's just a little pressure takes them right apart. Ricky Henderson, Hall of Fame right there. Steve Olin, who um, perished in a boating accident. Ken Caminetti also perished too young. And Eric Davis. So no big rookie cards yet. So the four that we're looking for, Rivera, Piazza, Hoffman, Delgado, you might even say um, Manny Ramirez. Lots of um, good rookies in this set. There's the Jeffrey Hammonds that used to be worth a nice uh, bit of money back in the day. Jimmy Key, Denny Nagel, Cecil Fielder, Nigel Wilson. Um, Nigel Wilson was once a top prospect in baseball, but he quickly faded out. There's a checklist. John Cangelosi, former Pirate, one of Jim Leland's favorite bench players. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer, Gerald Clark, Jeremy McGarity, Scott Scudder, Daryl Kyle, and um, doesn't look like we're going to get a Rivera for John. Albert Bell's the last one. So that that's the first four packs. Next up, we have Kelly W. Take the next four off of here. One, two, three, and four. Packs five through eight in the box for Kelly W. Craig Biggio is on the back, Hall of Famer. Let's see what we got in here. Cut right to the middle, turn it over. A Bill Swift foil card. Pretty nice. Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire, of course, uh, is not in the Hall of Fame. That is a pretty serious drill that he's running through. Look at that. 
uh, McGuire wanted to uh, definitely take the drill seriously, even in, I guess, um, when was this taken? Maybe spring training? Wow. It looks like he's maybe doing some uh, soft toss there. Lana Merced, Doug Desenzo, Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones, very nice. His rookie card's 91 tops, but this, um, this is a pretty nice card. Check out Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer there. Um, interesting picture on some of these prospects. Doug Strange, Kyle Abbott, Alex Ochoa, Dave Fleming, Andujar Cedeno, uh, Carlos Garcia, Pirates 94 All-Star representative, Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer, Luis Gonzalez, and Craig Biggio for the first pack for Kelly. Next pack, pack number two. Try to get these out of the pack without messing up the corners. These packs can be a little difficult to open. Dale Swaim, Jeffrey McNeely, Tony Fernandez, Alex Gonzalez, Scott Leyes. All right, come on, Mo. Where are you? We got to start finding some of these big rookies here pretty soon. There's another uh, Jeffrey Hammonds, Steve Farr, Carlos Fernandez, Greg Jeffries, former failed prospect, Kevin Mitchell, and Kent Herbeck. Next pack. Craig Lefferts on the back. Cut to the middle. Scott Sapicki, another prospect who never really made it that far. Solomon Torres had a pretty nice career. Former Pirates closer, Kevin Seitzer. Omar Vizquel might be in the Hall of Fame someday. Just fell short of 3,000 hits. 2,900 some hits. Also one of the best fielding shortstops of all time. Kevin Young, Look, check out that bat. KY, Kevin Young, former Pirates and Royals first baseman. He was uh, one of the Pirates' best players during that long stretch of losing back in the um, 90s and early 2000s. 20 consecutive years of losing records for the Pirates. That was a long stretch. If you're a Pirates fan, you know what I'm talking about. All right, our foil card is a Solomon Torres, and then we have Mike Mussina. And Charles Nagy, Frank Thomas, Michael Carter, Bobby Jones, Butch Henry, Bobby Witt. Looks like I don't see Rivera here either. Brett Boone, Paul Miller, and John Patterson. So we are 0 for 8. We're in a slump here. 0 for 8. Let's see if we can break out. Here's Linda W. Linda W is usually very lucky. A lot of people on the channel have dubbed her Legendary Linda. Um, she was in our 1985 Topps Authenticated Box Break, and she found the Mark McGuire rookie card. So let's see if she has that luck here. Finding at least one of those big rookies that we're looking for. All right. Four packs. Here we go. Matt Stairs foil. I saw that in there. Matt Stairs had a nice long career. Used to love watching him in batting practice. There's Rob Dibble, Gary Sheffield. Sheffield's rookie card is 89. Scott Service, McReynolds, Bobby Bo, Bobby Bonilla, Lance Johnson, and that's it for that pack. So still looking for any of these big time rookie cards. How about a Piazza? That would be nice. Piazza or Hoffman. All right, next pack. We got Jose Rijo leading things off there. Wally Joyner had a nice career. Todd Stottlemyre. We pulled a Mel Stottlemyre, 1970 Topps original card, out of Heritage the other day. Ricky Henderson. Um, Bob Nutting. That's not the Pirates owner, obviously. A lot of us around Pittsburgh just wish that Bob Nutting would sell the team because he doesn't like to spend his money. There's a Gary Carter, a nice card of Hall of Famer Gary Carter. Who passed away, unfortunately. Too young. Eric King. So that's two packs down for Linda. Next pack up. Come on. Let's find that Rivera. There's 705 cards in the set. So I see a Yvonne Rodriguez. Charles Nagy. A foil card. Sticking just a tad. Lee Stevens. Dave Steeb. Jeff Juden, 
Uh, we always thought this guy was like super cocky because we saw an interview on, I forget what it was, some show and Jeff Juden was just like all like, you know, casually like, yeah, I could throw about 101. And back then throwing 101 miles an hour was pretty much unheard of unless your name was Marion or I'm um, sorry, Nolan Ryan, not Marion Rivera. Rivera always threw in the mid nineties, but his cutter was what really set Rivera apart. That cutter, he could literally tell the batter, hey, here comes the cutter. And there's nothing they could do about it. One of the most successful pitches. His cutter was uh, legendary. All right, last pack for Linda in this uh, range of 9 to 12. Hubie Brooks, William Pennyfeather, former Pirates failed prospect Pat Listash, Greg Swindell, Turk Wendell, who never stepped on the line coming off the uh, mound, the uh, foul line. He would always jump way over it. Greg Olson. Joe Redfield, that's a name from the past. Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer, and Dave Valley. Still, no big rookie card. Back to John A. All right, John A was already up in packs one to four. Let's take out the next four here. John A is up. Packs 13 to 16. Let's get a Rivera. Come on. Craig Biggio again. Seeing that card already. Starting to see a little bit of uh, repeats here. All right, there's a Frank Viola, Mike Morgan, who bounced around, played for tons of different teams. Cliff Brantley, Jeff Branson, former Pirates hitting instructor, Dave Fleming, Andujar Cedeno, Tony Gwynn, Luis Gonzalez, and Craig Biggio. So we've already seen like this run of cards here at the end of the pack. We've already seen those. You can see the uh, variation was uh, still not that good in 92. All right. Oh, come on. Where's Rivera? We got a Tim Nehring lead things off. Rick Green, Tim Wallach, um, no, Kyler, Ron Gant had a nice career. John Vanderwall, known for his pinch hitting prowess. There's a Ryan Sandberg, J.R. Phillips, John Allerud. Uh, still no Rivera. All right. Next pack. Jeremy Burnitz is on the back. Jeremy Burnitz, rookie card. Power hitter. Drafted by the Mets. Made his uh, made his name mostly with the Brewers. Also played for the Pirates for a little bit. Glenn Davis. Joe Randa, former Pirate and also Royals third baseman. Willie Green. Mark Anthony. Remember this guy? It's another one of those strange pictures where they're kind of like on vacation. And uh, brought along a photographer. Omar Oliveras, Mitch Williams, who gave up the uh, legendary Joe Carter home run. Um, Dan Howitt, don't know what happened to his sleeve there. There's a Kevin Moss, Alan Trammell, Jeff Jackson with his nice 90 shirt there. Jonathan Hurst and Jeremy Burnitz with the Mets. All right, last pack for John A. Tony Pena's on the back. Still hoping I'm going to catch a glimpse of Mar Mario Rivera or Mike Piazza or something like that. Barry Larkin, Dave Winfield. Then we have Denny Walling, Deion James, Joe Carter. There he is. We just mentioned him earlier with that home run in the World Series. Uh, World Series winning homer off of Mitch Williams. That's it for um, John. Next up, we're about halfway through the box. Linda W is back on the clock. Doing packs 70, 17 to 20. And I sell these packs um, like this so I can recoup um, like the $450 and break even. That way I can keep bringing you expensive boxes on Throwback Thursday. Um, just take the $450 that I spent on this, get the money back, and then go on and purchase something for next week. All right, here's our next um, box. Our next pack, I should say. Steve Carsey. Jim Abbott. Of course, you know Jim Abbott's story by now. Pitched without a um, without a right hand. Really one of the more amazing stories from baseball in my lifetime. Still, no mo. 
speaking of Nomo, Hideo Nomo is not in this set. His rookie card is 1995 Bowman. I, I remember getting that card and being super pumped about it. All right, Raul Mondese, former rookie of the year. Mark Leiter, Gary Sheffield again. Yvonne Cruz, Tim Wallach, foil card. Mark Smith, Ozzy Guillen, Guillermo Vasquez. I don't know, I'm starting to get nervous here. No Piazza, no Hoffman, no Manny Ramirez, no Mariano Rivera, and we are halfway done with the box. At least we got a Chipper Jones so far. That was probably the best card. Ozzy Smith, Pat Mahomes, his son is a quarterback and having lots of success in the NFL. Greg Maddox again. Dave Valley, wow, that's an inter interesting looking shirt there. Napoleon Robinson, I don't think he ever made it to the bigs because I don't recognize that name at all, but that shirt is really 90s looking. Billy Ashley, power hitting prospect for the Dodgers, never really amounted to anything in the bigs. Bobby Thigpen, former um, record setting closer, had the most saves in a single season. I think he set that back in 1990. That has since been eclipsed by K-Rod, Francisco Rodriguez. All right. Next pack, Scott Cooper, Willie Banks, Ron Gant again, Ken Kim Nettie, Mark Lemke, Matt Williams, Reggie Sanders, Jeff Shaw, Rico Rossi, Alan Mills. Linda W. is now off the clock. John A. is back on the clock. Packs 21 to 24. I don't know. I'm starting to uh, starting to get worried that we're not going to find any of the big rookies. That's the risk that we take with um, buying these big time boxes. Sometimes you get a hit, sometimes you don't. I was lucky enough to, you know, get the '85 McGuire. My brother did a box break the other day. Had '86 Don Russ. Um, found everything except for the um, Jose Canseco rookie card, which is the best card in the set. I just want to find at least a couple of the big cards from this set. Sammy Sosa, Ryan Long, another yearbook type uh, senior picture there. Card is sticking to the back here of Chad McConnell, Tim Wallach, Ron Gant again, Rick Aguilera, John Vanderwall, Phil Plantier, who used to be worth a few dollars back in the day as a prospect. My brother and I went into a card store that still had Phil Plantier cards in the showcase for... Um, Basically what they were worth back in 92. That was pretty interesting. All right, our next pack. Let me try to get these out of here without touching the corners to the pack. Randy Kramer, former Pirate. Cliff Brantley, Jason Wood. Juan Samuel. Mike Moore, Pete Harnish. Felipe Crespo. Wow, nice haircut on Dan Smith. Nice 90s do there. Chad, Chad McConnell foil card, Robin Ventura, Ramon Martinez, that's Pedro Martinez's brother, Edgar Martinez, so whenever I see some of these cards we haven't seen yet, like Edgar Martinez and Ramon Martinez, I get a little bit excited because there's a chance that we might find the Mariano, but not in that pack. All right, next one. Gary Scott's on the back. Joe Randa again, Eddie Williams, Manny Lee, Lenny Dykstra, Jose Canseco, Don Peters, Tim Scott, Joe Redfield, come on, John Wetland, Jay Bell, I cannot believe that we have not found a Rivera, Piazza, or Trevor Hoffman yet, or Carlos Delgado, or Manny Ramirez, come on, box. All right, next pack. This is the last one for John. There's the Manny Ramirez. All right. Sometimes you just have to start ranting, and then maybe you'll get lucky. So Manny Ramirez, foil rookie card, is our best hit so far. Manny Ramirez, of course, everyone knows him, Manny being Manny. He grew out his hair really long with dreadlocks, but was one of the greatest hitters of the 90s and 2000s. Uh, came up with the Indians and put up great numbers. Continued rising to fame with the uh, Red Sox. 
Also played for the Dodgers and was just a great player. Unfortunately, busted for PEDs a few times. Manny Ramirez was definitely a fun player to watch. Mike Hampton was a actually a really, really good hitter. There was some, like one year, I think he hit nine home runs as a pitcher, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's a terrible angle there of Phil <laughs> Dauphin. I don't know why the photographer's like laying on the field. But terrible angle there. Cal Aldred, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, Jeff Branson, Vaughn Eshelman, Rob Dibble, Benji Gill, Dave Nilsson from Australia, Ryan Klesko, Chris Martin, Randy Tomlin. So John A. gets the um, Manny. Now it's James S. is on the clock. Take out your four packs. Really like to find a Trevor Hoffman. My brother bought a few of these packs at the National. I think he bought like, I don't know, three or four packs. And he was able to pull a Trevor Hoffman rookie card. Um, Trevor Hoffman is in his Reds uniform. Carlton Fisk, you can see he looks pretty old there. That was at the end of his career. Had a nice long career. His rookie card was 1972 tops. Robin Yount, another guy at the end of his career. His rookie card was 75. Both Hall of Famers, great, great players. Will Clark, Will the Thrill. All right, come on. Kevin McReynolds. I think Kevin McReynolds one year stole 22 bases and was caught zero times. Um, that was always an interesting stat that always stood out to me. Bobby Bonilla, Lance Johnson, Dave Fleming. All right, our next pack, this is pack 26. So we're down to only 10 packs left. From this authenticated box on Throwback Thursday. Let's see what we get here. Hoping it's um, one of those big rookie cards. Let's see, a Howard House is our foil card. Hiding in the trees there. Another one of those creepy um, 90s pictures. Dave Hollins, BJ Serhoff, Scott Erickson, Mike Devereaux, a checklist, Dave Cohn, Nolan Ryan, not too bad. I like that Nolan Ryan card. His last Topps card was 94 Topps, so this was at the end of his career. Mark Smith. And Ozzy Guillen, Guillermo Vasquez, or Velasquez, sorry. Two packs left to go. I'm filming downstairs in my basement because I was really hoping I was going to pull Rivera and just um, didn't want to wake up the whole house if I did. Still have some hope. Maybe it might be that last pack mojo. You never know. Juan Samuel. There's Trevor Hoffman, rookie card. Okay, now here we go. That was one of the ones we were looking for. Still have to find the Piazza and, and uh, Rivera. There's still a little bit of work to be done. But that's the card I was talking about that my brother found. Trevor Hoffman, rookie card. Um, Hall of Famer right there. Second all-time in saves to uh, Mariana Rivera. Trevor Hoffman came up as a shortstop and switched over to pitching, and that was a very good move for him. Um, one of the greatest change-ups of all time. That was his out pitch, Trevor Hoffman rookie card. Very nice. Of course, Trevor Hoffman will be lost to the Marlins and go to the Marlins and then eventually end up on the Padres. Is that Dan Smith again? How about we get another one in the same pack? That would be pretty sweet. Another big hit. Piazza or Rivera, but Alex Cole, Roger Sockeld, Jack McDowell. One pack left for James S. That was a nice Rivera. Or not Rivera. Have Rivera on the brain. Hoffman. Dave Henderson is our first one. Alan Newman. Paul O'Neill. I liked Paul O'Neill a lot growing up. Bob Walk, Pirates announcer. There's that crazy shirt again, Napoleon Robinson. Our foil card is another Jim Abbott. That's the second time we've seen that card, Mark Clark. Jose Leand, slick fielding second baseman. Never could do much with the bat. Typically about a 250 hitter with maybe like one or two home runs tops. James is up again, packs 29 to 32. We're getting down to the bottom of the box. Only eight packs remain. One, two, three. Four. Eight packs left on this Throwback Thursday. See Randy Tomlin on the back. We've already found his card. 
least once already. All right, let's see here. Derek Bell is on the, the back. And the foil card sometimes sticks to the card ahead of it, and that was sticking a little bit. It's an Alan Embry, former pitcher with the Indians, Vaughn Hayes, Mike Moore, Barry Bonds. I like that card a lot. Kind of reminds me of his 93 Tops card, almost the same exact picture as 93 Tops. One of those landscape um, um, swinging pictures. Like that card a lot. This one's sticking. Kim Batiste. Dave Nilsson again. Ryan Klesko. Chris Martin. Think he, isn't that the singer of Coldplay? All right, next pack. Obviously not the same guy. So I flick that wrapper aggressively out of the way. Come on, Mo. Ricky Gutierrez, Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, getting in this year. John Farrell, Chris Hoyles, Todd Ritchie, former Pirates pitcher, was an opening day starter for us one year. I think he started in 2002. All right. No big hit in that one either. Six packs left in the box. I don't know if I should just like go through these super fast to like change it up a little bit and maybe um, bring us some luck. Bill Swift, Donald Harris, Dave Wilson, Tommy Green once threw a no hitter for the Phillies. Scott Brocious had a pretty legendary home run in the playoffs. Bernie Williams, it's not his rookie card though. His rookie card is 1990. Kyle Ripken Jr. That's our first Ripken, and that is it for that pack for James. Next pack, only five left, including this one. Mark McGuire foil card, pretty nice. Damian Easley, Brian Harvey, Corey Snyder. Ken Griffey Jr., that card was worth a bunch back in the day. It was around, I think it was like a $9 card. It was just pretty good for a base card. Ryan Long again. There's the McGuire foil card. By the way, the back of the foil card looks like that. They all kind of have that. Um, USA Team Alumni logo on there and tell you what year they played for Team USA. And no Rivera. So we're down to Linda W., our last hope. It's like our, what is this, ninth batter in the lineup. Yep, this is our ninth set of four. It's like two outs. Bomb of the ninth. Let's see if Linda can win the game here with the walk-off and find the Rivera. Come on. I'll be happy with a Piazza, but I really wanted to find the Rivera. We might have to do another box of these someday if I don't find the Rivera. All right, let's see what we have in this pack. Sticking a little bit there, Michael Tucker. These foil cards definitely do stick a bit. But at least we're not losing, like, a ton of, like, paper. Sometimes when cards stick together, you have paper loss, and the card just kind of, like, falls apart. Chris Sabo with the glasses, the rec specs, Dave Rigetti. Oh, there's a Manny Ramirez rookie card. So we had the foil card before. This is the regular um, rookie card of Manny Ramirez. I forgot that he was uh, also a foil card and a regular card. Pretty nice. Manny Ramirez there. Um it's kind of like hanging out in the park. Here's the back of it. Oh, Lou Whitaker sticking to it. Manny made his professional baseball debut at Burlington in 1991. Linda gets the Manny. Hoping you get a Piazza too. Or a Rivera, but three packs left. Andy Bennis is our foil card. Scott Ruffcorn, Tracy Sanders, Jared Williams, Darren Lewis, Checklist, David Cohn, Pat Lestash, Greg Swindell, Turk Wendell, Dave Martinez, manager of the Nationals now, and Tom Gordon, D. Gordon's dad. Two packs left to go on this Throwback Thursday. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I was really hoping to find the Rivera. 
but it's not always guaranteed in a box. It would be nice if it was, but there's 700 and what is it, 705 cards in the um, set, and there's probably about 500 some in the box. So, some boxes you might get two Riveras or maybe three Riveras, other boxes you might get zero, like we have gotten so far. Doug Drabeck, 91 Cy Young Award winner. Darren Dalton, he's on the front of the Beckett that I used to look up the uh, prices there. Mike Stanley, Danny Jackson, down to our final pack. This is it, it's like, I feel like it's an 0-2 count right now. William Penny Feather, come on. All right, I'm just gonna take each card at a time. Bill Doran. Dickie Thon, Eric Hillman, Alex Sutherland, Tony Phillips, John Jaha, Mike Lavalier, Spanky Lavalier. It's unfortunately, like, sorry that my voice kind of got excited there. It's not worth, these are common. But I like Mike Lavalier growing up. Jack McDowell is our foil card. Mark Clark. Dave Silvestri, We've got about three or four cards left. Four cards left. Joe Slosarski. Jose Leand. This is our last card. I know the last card's William Pennyfeather. So our last card of Throwback Thursday, we did not find the Piazza. We did not find the Mariano Rivera, which were the top two that we were looking for. We found some of the other good ones, though. We found Trevor Hoffman. We found Manny Ramirez, his foil and his regular card. But the last card is, let's see if it's going to, it's not the Rivera. It's not the Piazza. It's Hubie Brooks. Hubie Brooks. And there's William Penny Feather. So... Thank you for joining us on the search for the Marion Rivera. I will have to uh, save the one touches for our next search. We might have to do another box of these um, again sometime in the future and see if we can find that Rivera for everybody. But it's always fun to try. I hope you enjoyed looking through this box of 92 Bowman. Once again, it is one of the uh, best sets from the 90s. Very nice, high quality set. It's not junk like some of the cards are from the uh, early 90s um, nice glossy cards lots of prospects uh, interesting photography um, definitely an a plus for a set but you know sometimes you find uh, the cards you want sometimes you don't thank you so much for watching everybody next week we'll be back at it for another throwback thursday and i might go back to the 80s and pick another box from the early 80s and try to find um one of those uh, good rookie cards from 82 or 83 or maybe even 84. We'll probably go back in that range, 82 to 84. And I'll, um, they're all authenticated boxes again. I'll put those up on uh, Patreon first and you can buy those if you want to. Uh, get in there and, and chase one of those rookies. If not, you can just sit back and watch and see if we can find it. So I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow.